So today I'm on my way to my very first activity sessions with the BUDS team and I'm so excited. So this is activity sessions with people with dementia and I've never done this sort of thing before and I'm so excited, I'm so excited to go and experience it and learn and I uh, just can't wait. But I'll update you all later on how it goes. So I am back from the BUDS dementia scheme and I just had such an amazing day. So I arrived there about 10 past nine and that was 20 minutes early as always. And I was greeted by the most lovely, lovely woman who was absolutely incredible. And she was so warm and friendly and open and she was like, oh my God, I'm so grateful to have you here. We always love and appreciate volunteers. And she was just so lovely. And then she just said, she walked me around and she was talking about the type of people that she uh, that they have there and how everyone's different and they like to see them as a whole, as this holistic way. And they all have their individual needs. So if you don't know about dementia, so dementia is an umbrella term of a lot of different things and one of those things part of dementia is Alzheimer's so Alzheimer's disease and that's basically the deterioration of the brain you slowly sort of start losing your memory and so these sessions they run are just they're put on to give them a quality of life to bring those memories back to just give them emotions and make them feel valued like a valued person and it's just amazing so we started off the day with we all sat down I sort of I felt a bit like a spare part because this is my first time there and I, I wasn't too sure what my roles and my duties should be so I saw that they were getting cups and things ready to make tea so I was like I'll make the tea so I went off and I got the teapot and I started making the tea started pouring tea for people asked people if they want tea or coffee if they have milk sugar and it was all fantastic everyone responded everyone wanted the tea everyone drank the tea which is amazing because you know I'm pushing fluids <laughs> so I've still got my nurse head on I'm still pushing the fluids and making sure people are um, drinking so they had their tea or coffee they had biscuits they had squash as well they had water if they wanted water and they can have as much as they want all day long if they want because that's the service that they provide. Nothing is too much for these people. So then we sat down and we did some activities. So we had different activities across the table. So at the end of the table, there was dominoes, there was like a word reminiscence. So you had to pair up the words to make a sentence. So things like a bull in a china shop. So it was separated and you had to complete the sentence just to sort of get the mind going, get the memories flowing, making them really think. Like word, there was word puzzles to do, there was a memory box with this uh, Barbie doll that was a toilet roll holder that had the old toilet roll, um, what are they called? The toilet roll covers, you know the old knitted woolly sort of covers that go on your toilet roll? Oh why can't I think what it's called? Toilet roll cover? Is it just a toilet roll cover? Anyway, so they had those, they had the old mixers, you know, the, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say, the whisks, the whisks that you had to manually push, had that, they had this amazing book, the sort of, it was like little poems, but it had pictures with the poems, so it was people dressed, but they had the pinnies on and people used to wash, wash the clothes in the, um, it was called a posh, this posh and people used to scrub their clothes and then they had the the board so they would wash the clothes on the washing board and the, the book was just amazing because it was so weird to see how things used to be done and how easy we've got it now with our washing machines and our irons and back then it was a, a you know a big cast iron thing and it really heavy and it'd be on the stove and they'd heat it up and then they'd iron the clothes it was just nice to see and if you've ever been to actually if you've, anyone's ever been to the black country museum um it was a bit like that it was a bit stepping back in time and it's just i love it i would love do you know what if i had a time machine i would definitely use it because i'd love to just experience a day back in time of all these different eras to see what life was like because i love that stuff i love the simple things in life so they also did these this exercise session so they had all these movements where they move the arms they move their neck just to get the joints moving and rolling the woman that 
I, I was greeted with in the morning. She was explaining as she goes, you know, this is really good for the joints and the muscles and mobility and to keep them going. And then she was explaining to the people there as well. She was like, you know, inside your body, you're feeling 20 years old, but outside a little bit older. So we need to keep it going, keep it moving, keep it fresh and keep it 20 years old still. She was just amazing. The way she explained things was just fantastic. She was outstanding. She deserves a medal. And we had a sing song, so we were all singing. And then we did the head, shoulders, knees and toes. We did that. And then later on, they had a couple of people come in and do a music. So they were just playing all these songs and they had a boogie. It was just fantastic. It was just a really relaxed day. And it was nice to see the social setting and people in their social environment. Oh, I helped two guys, two men men, as this woman calls it. She she said to me, no, the, I'll put you with these two men. They are men's men. You know, they are traditional men. They like to talk about men things and they do men stuff. And it's not really stuff that us women need to know, but you know, it's good to be with them and listen and help them where they need it. So I went with them and they didn't do much men talk with me, to be honest, but I did help them play darts. I fetched the darts for them. I did the scoreboard for them and I praised them because they were amazing and they got really good scores. Like, this is, these guys are fantastic. Um, so it was really good. And then at the end of the day, I had to do some like documentation and things. I met the man, the, um, is he the manager? The manager who's in charge of the bud scheme and the, oh, he's in charge of the volunteers. So I met him, he was absolutely fantastic, so welcoming and warm. He was just lovely. So I filled out all my paperwork and things for it. And then I got to go home at three. So I was there half nine till three. Oh, and I got a present of the day. Look at my present. So one of the people that attends there always comes in with bags and bags of apples apparently. And he gives it to the, um, the group so everyone can have these apples and they literally forced apples on me <laughs> so i've got five apples could i try and juggle no <laughs> that's too many apples um hang on <laughs> okay i can just about do two three was a challenge <laughs> my talents definitely not wasted <laughs> so I've got some apples I've brought some apples home I'm going to wash them and make up a pie and that's my takeaway from today and so what's in store for me next so at the weekend I've got a bank shift tomorrow because I really need money and I'm struggling right now so I've got my bank shift tomorrow then I'm off Sunday I'm gonna do nothing on Sunday and obviously post this video for you all to see and then Monday I'm back at the wood scheme, but I'm at the other centre, which is literally round the corner from the one I went today. And it looks amazing. The guy that's in charge took me round there just to show me and make sure I knew where I was going and stuff. And it's just beautiful. It's set in this park. And there's just this park with a lake. And then there's the, the little centre that they're going to do all the activities in and things. And it, oh, it looks beautiful. I'm really, really excited to go back. And it's really nice. I love it. She'll see you all tomorrow, ready for my bank shift, and if not, I'll see you Sunday, and I hope you've had a great weekend. I've arrived on my bank shift, whoop whoop, um, just gotta get changed and get started. This is our family storeroom, full of condoms, speculums, swabs, bins, urine pots, couch roll gloves, all of that jazz. This is where I come to get the stock. So my first job when I start is to check all of the fridge temperatures get the bag ready for the samples, stock up the rooms and the trolleys, and then get the cultures ready for samples. And that's it. So I'm gonna start the cleaning today now. This is my trolley. It's got all the tests in it. So it's got all the blood bottles, got the nap testing for swabbing, and we've got condoms, speculums and such. And that's what I'm going to be using today. So that's me finished for the day. And I thought I'd just go through what I actually do as a HCA slash healthcare assistant in sexual health. So firstly, I chaperone patients for examinations if people need to be examined and things. Then we are trained to take bloods, venipuncture blood from the veins. Um, we test that for HIV, syphilis, hepatitis. And then I take oral swabs as well. If people need an oral swab, I can do that. I sort out all of the samples. So I pack all the samples, I make sure they've got 
got the right request on the samples and um, make sure they're packed and everything accordingly and make sure the right date, the name, date, date of birth, the right numbers on them, all of that all coordinates so that the right samples, the right patient um, and goes in the right bag over to the lab for the QE hospital. And then I also explain things to patients so I explain to them how to take their own tests if they're sort of like a self swab that they do themselves, I explain to them how to do that and urine tests and things like that so I explain all that to them. I help with the general stocking up of the clinic and cleaning of the clinic um, between each patient you know we do the beds and the door handles and things. We also do the height, weight and blood pressure of the patient and work out the BMI. I reassure patients because a lot of our patients come in and they're very very nervous or they're very anxious they're very angry because they've got an infection from their partner or something so they're very angry so it's one of my jobs as well just to reassure them be friendly and inviting and warm and welcoming to make them feel at ease and hopefully leave with a massive smile and hopefully that they're going to want to come back because some of the patients have never been to us before and it's their first time so it's nice that they want to come back. So now I'm gonna go get the train home, make some dinner and enjoy my evening. And I'm off tomorrow. I'm gonna to be posting this video. So I hope you all have an amazing Sunday. Have a great week and I'll see you all next week. Mm -hmm.